Hello everybody and welcome back to Operation Logistics, where I just realized that, sure, we pick up this parcel here, but we don't actually remove it from the awaiting pickup list, or rather dictionary, in the parcel manager. So let's go ahead and hop into here, and let's go ahead and remove that. So parcel manager dot uh, awaiting pickup dot remove. Do we need to pass in the key? We do need to pass in the key. Okay, so um, we need to get the key, which is going to just be the in hex, right? Not, but not necessarily, actually, because. Well, it would be the... Okay, so because it can be from the adjacent building, that's why it wouldn't necessarily be in hex. But we can grab it from the uh, parcel dot origin. Like that. Okay, so we remove that from the awaiting pickup list. And then what do we need to do? Well, we need to, we need to set up our drop-off. That's for sure. So, if we are dropping off, that only happens when we enter a building with a sorting capacity. Okay, so everything that is unsorted needs to be, then be removed to be sorted, right? So we just have a list of parcels, so we're going to have to iterate through that and determine whether they've been sorted or not. If they haven't, we need to place it in that building, and do we have in the building a list of parcels to be sorted. We don't. Okay, we're gonna need one of those. Well, actually we might. Uh, neighbors, ticks on minute, blah 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 blah. Okay. We have the parcel manager, but we don't seem to have any lists of parcels. So we're gonna need some public list parcel actually hang on I changed my mind potentially here um, owned building aha that's what we need okay so with owned building then we need to get the owned building version of this which is gonna be exciting To be sure. Okay. So, let's see here. The owned building should exist as a building. Potentially. But we need to make sure that it's an owned building. So, owned building building equals what? It would equal... The hex manager, which would specifically be the time manager dot business dot hex manager, since we're doing it in this weird roundabout sort of way. Uh, we need to grab the hex manager dot get building by position, and then this would be in hex. And this one's a vector three. Oh, right. We need to do by index. And it cannot implicitly convert building to owned building. So what we want to do is we want to do dot get component. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We can't do that. Um, how do we want to do this then? Because we have to have the owned building specifically. Maybe we could do... Something along the lines of, hmm, I mean, it's a subclass. We need to determine if this building is an owned building or not, which we already do, technically, up here, right here. Maybe we need to be specifically creating a hex hex manager function for get owned building by index 
So something like public owned building, get owned building by index. Int three, no, not int two. <laughs> int three index, or we'll just do hex. And then that would return essentially, okay, so how exactly do I want to do this? Because I mean, we've got the get building by index, return get building by index hex, but that's not exactly what we want to do because we want to make sure that this is an owned building. So building building equals get building by index hex and then something like if building or rather if type of building equals uh what is this is a variable but used of used as a type so if type of building dot type Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, I can't remember how to do this. I have to look it up. That's obnoxious. C sharp type of. I'm pretty sure this is how we want to do this. Building dot get type. Hmm, no. I want to do type of building. Could I just use is perhaps? If building is owned building like that? Maybe. <laughs> Return building. else well we're verifying that it's an owned building here I guess we just cast it like that okay so at that point then once we have that then we just need to do Debug dot log error building is not owned. And then we need a semicolon. That would help. Return? No. Okay, like that. Then, once we have that, then we would do owned building building equals get owned building by index. And then we just need to check to make sure that it's not null. So if building is not equal to null, then we can go ahead and drop off. Theoretically. I have no idea if that'll work or not. I suspect it might. Maybe? We'll find out eventually. So if it is not equal to null, then we want to go ahead and drop off at this building. So let's say all of our packages. So we're going to need to iterate through all of our packages for in i equals zero i is less than carrying dot count i plus plus if carrying i dot sorted equals true or rather equals false then we want to remove that from the vehicle and put it into the building so we want to go ahead and we can't really remove it here right because that'll change the indexing a little bit awkward. Hmm, how do I want to go about handling that one? Well, we can go ahead and sort it into the building for now, to be sure. And we could have like a list of ints here to remove equals new list int, like that. 
And then we can just remove the indexes, or indices, if you prefer the proper plural. So if we are, if carrying i.sorted equals false, then to remove dot add, we add in i because it has not been sorted, and then we add the carrying i to the building. So the building dot unsorted parcels dot add carrying i. Okay. And then once we're done with that, for int i equals zero, i is less than to remove dot count. We can't necessarily do this either. Because as we remove it, it's going to change the index. Hmm. Okay, um, how do I want to remove this from this list? We could just do... Mm. Remove item from list while <laughs> iterating C sharp. Oh boy, I have to look up all the things apparently. Iterate your list in reverse with a for loop. Ooh, that's... That's a good idea. <laughs> I should have done that. Alternately, you can re use the remove all method with a predicate to test against. But I like the, re the reverse idea. So we would do carrying.count minus one. I is greater than zero or greater than or equal to zero, I think, because we don't want it to be negative one. And then I minus minus. And then we can simply carrying dot remove at I. And theoretically, that shouldn't mess with our index or our indices because we've already handled the stuff that's going to change. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. Okay, so that gets us our drop off. And then our owned building, does that actually start store, start uh, sorting it? It doesn't. Well, it kind of does. So it sorts sorting capacity. Okay, where do we get the sorting capacity? That's in the building. Sorting capacity is this. Okay, so th this happens every what? Every minute tick? Every hour tick? Month tick? I'm a little confused. Sorting pro progress, that's hourly. Okay, good to know. And then the loading parcels, there's that as well that we're going to need to implement. So let's go ahead and do a public void load parcels int parcels to load. And we're going to need to determine what vehicle, if there are multiples, to load it onto, right? So that's something we're going to have to consider. Hmm. How do we want to do that? Well, for now, we'll just leave it like this, and we'll come back to that. So, for right now, I just want to make sure that the vehicles are properly sorting and loading. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, there's another thing that we need to do, actually, now that I think about it. And that is, we need to only run the in the owned building. We need to only run many of these things here if there is something to be loaded, right? So for the upkeep progress, that's fine. That can keep going. However, if unsorted parcels dot count is greater than zero, that's the only time we want to do any sorting. If the loading pr progress 
So if there's sorted parcels, and there's also a vehicle valid to load it into. So if, not of, <laughs> if, no, not fi, if fee, that would have been fee, if sorted parcels dot count is greater than zero for right now, and then I'm going to comment it out, add in a little bit of something as a placeholder here to remind me that this is something that needs to happen. And that would be if sorted parcels dot count is greater than zero and if I can find the button, there we go. If sorted parcels dot count is greater than zero and there is a vehicle that is going to a hex that is like a vehicle has coverage on a particular hex, the destination hex of one of our packages. That's going to be awkward to figure out, to be sure. Something along the lines of birthed vehicle has coverage over destination hex. It's a really awkward name, and it's a kind of awkward concept, but that's going to be what we're going to need to do. However, for right now, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we'll probably see if this stuff is working. It should work just fine. The only thing that might not work would be the hex manager get owned building. That might be a little bit awkward, but for right now, you can subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.